हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सी एस एन एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिक्स सोल्यूशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच वॉज आस इन दी सी एस एन एट ट्वेंटी एंड वी विल सी दी सम शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स आर देयर सो फर्स्टली सी हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आर देयर दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द जर्नल सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सेकेंड वन इज दैट यू हैव टू अगेन फाइंड दी जर्नल सोल्यूशन बट विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दी फैमिली ऑफ द सर्फेस third one is you have to find the complete integral as well as the particular solution which passes through this curve and the last one is you have to classify this partial differential equation as parabolic hyperbolic and so on how you can solve these four questions in a very simple manner we can see in this video so if you look about this here this is nothing but my xp plus y of k over there so what is that this is nothing but my linear partial differential equation so whenever is here then the equation will be my this here dy upon y and dz upon 0 what is that you have to compare this with the help of p of p the q of this is r r there now you have to solve this and compare this solution b so what is that if you take these two are there so what will happen this is log of mod x is nothing but log of mod y plus of say log of mod c So what is that? This is nothing but mod x upon mod y is c. So which one is the right answer? Are there? This is there. There is no need to solve the other part. B. If you want to solve the other parts, if you solve like this way, what will happen? Dz is zero. It means z is another constant, say c two. So what is the meaning of that? If c one is there, then c one is nothing but my phi of c two, or you can say c two is nothing but phi of c one, where phi is the arbitrary function. So, but there is no need of that. Once you will get the mod x upon mod y, there is only one option are there. So that's the right answer of this problem. Look at the another questions are there. Again, you have to find the general solution which is perpendicular to the surface. That's again a very simple are there. Here k is a constant real number. Can you find the value of k from here? It can be written like this way. This is my k. So I call this as a function of the x, y, and z. so all of you know what is the equation of the surface to the fam, uh, to the perpendicular to the family of surface that's again very simple this is nothing but my dx upon partial derivative with respect to x which is equal to dy upon partial derivative with respect to y and it's a dz upon partial derivative with respect to z so what you can do that i have to think about the options b so let's start with this one what will happen is this is dx upon minus z square upon x square y What is that? dy upon minus z square upon x y square, and what is that? This is 2 z upon x y. So now here you can see the first option is only with respect to x and y. So if I just consider these two equations are there, z square will be cancelled out. You can see this will be cancelled out, x will be cancelled out, y will be cancelled out. So what will happen is 1 x dx is y dy. So if you integrate them. This is nothing but x square minus y square upon two. That is a constant c one. So which one is this option is cancel out. Now for the others, you need x and z. It means I have to take this part and this part are there. So what will happen? Dx upon minus z square upon x y, and this is dz upon two z by x y x square y. Sorry. So y is cancel one x is cancel one z is cancel. So it will be minus of two x dx. is nothing but my z of dz so what is that if you integrate them it will be nothing but my minus x square is z square by 2 so which one is the option is there that is nothing but 2x square plus constant 2z square plus here which one is there 2x square plus here so these are the right answer of this problem there is no need to solve it completely look at the another one is there so you have to find the complete integral and the particular solution so how you can write this equation are there? this is nothing but my px ky plus pq do you remember that which one is there yes this is nothing but my claret's equation so what is the complete integral of this uh, claret's equation that is nothing but ax plus by plus of ab replacing p with by a q by so which one is there this is the right answer so this is cancel out now how you find the particular solution is what is the particular solution sir there that's a very simple which passes through this curve now since this is the equations are there so now you can take x is 0 z is equal to y square so i can consider z as uh, y as a t then z is my here substitute this value in this here 
सो वट विल हैपन इज दिस इज नथिंग बट माई टी स्केयर एक्स इज जीरो बी ऑफ टी प्लस ऑफ ए बी वट इज दैट दिस इज आई कैन से दिस इज माई क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन नाउ फॉर द यू कैन फाइंड द डिस्क्रिमिनेट विच शुड बी द जीरो फॉर फाइंडिंग द सर्फेस ऑफ हेयर दैट इज बी स्केयर माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर ए बी इज जीरो वट इज दैट बी इज नथिंग बट माई माइनस ऑफ फोर ए सो यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दी वैल्यू हेयर दिस इज ए एक्स बी इज नथिंग बट माई माइनस फोर ए सो दिस इज माइनस ऑफ फोर ए स्केयर नाउ इट हैज ओनली वन अनोन पैरामीटर्स हाउ यू कैन इलिमिनेट दैट यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड और विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए एंड पुट दैम एज ए जीरो वट इज दैट दिस इज एक्स माइनस फोर वाई माइनस ऑफ एट ए इज जीरो वट इज द ए इज एक्स बाई एट माइनस ऑफ वाई बाई टू विच वन इज एंड सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू इन हेयर यू विल गेट द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम बट देर इज नो नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट वाई बिकॉज वी आर इन दी एम सी क्यू वी हैव टू ट्राई टू फाइंड इट्स अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर इट इज एक्स बाई फोर सो इफ आई टेक एक्स एज ए वन बाई टू कॉमन सो यू कैन सी एक्स बाई फोर माइनस वाई ऑफ दिस फॉर्म सो प्लस ऑप्शन इज कैंसल आउट सो इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट हेयर इट विल बी स्केयर एंड आफ्टर द कैलकुलेशन यू विल गेट दिस हेयर बट देर इज नो नीड ऑफ दिस because we will look about nearest to the optimal here so x by 4 minus y is the right answer look at the last questions are there so which is related to the classification of the pd so what we can do is we will try to compare this partial differential equation with the help of here always u y y plus and so on and we will try to compute b square minus of 4ac if it is greater than 0 we call as the hyperbolic if it is zero we will call as the parabolic if it is less than zero we will call as the elliptical b so let's see what will happen in this case this is my b the coefficient is 1 and here so what is the b square minus 4ac for the first part this is 4 minus 4 1 minus sigma of y so what is that 4 will be common so it will be 4 of sigma of y so now uh, all of you know that how you can solve that if y is greater than zero If y is zero, if y is less than zero, if y is greater than zero, it means this value is my positive, so it is my plus four. That is greater than zero. This value is zero. This value is my minus four, which is less than zero. So what is that? Whenever y less than zero, it is my elliptical because this value is less than zero. When y is less than zero, so what is that? Y is greater than zero. It means it's a hyperbolic. So it's a parabolic. So first option is cancel out. Hyperbolic when y is greater than zero. elliptical when y is less than 0 it's a negative whenever it's a negative it's a elliptical so this option is correct for the first part similarly for the second part what you can do is what is that b that is the coefficient of the xy that's a 0 so it's a b square minus 4 ac what is that this is minus 4 xy now which is elliptical hyperbolic first and second and so on so this is x y in this case both are positive this is x is negative y is positive so in this case both are positive so this value is my less than 0 it means in the first quadrant it will be elliptical elliptical in the first quadrant hyperbolic this option is cancel out elliptical in the first is it third also in the third quadrant x is my negative y is negative when x is negative y is negative this value is my again negative it means this option is true both are true is it true also hyperbolic for the second second is x is my negative y is my positive so this value will comes my greater than 0 that's a hyperbolic that's true and what about the fourth is x is my positive y is my negative so this value is again positive so it's a hyperbolic again so it means this is also the right answer so correct answers are my b and c are there so that's a very simple way you can solve these problems in this manner we will solve some more questions in our next videos till then you can simply share this one with your friends subscribe the channel best of luck students happy learning